Oppo has always offered great build quality on their smartphones, and they have outdone themselves with their latest F5. Its thin and light also has a great space. So, let's check out. First of all, we need to take a look at the design. The design is like pretty much Galaxy Note 8, but Oppo F5 has rounded edges. The back is pretty empty as well. We can get behind the shiny silver logo. The legal notice on the bottom, not so much. The main camera has a sizable bump to it. Moving to the side bezels, the right bezels has the power button and the SIM card tray. It has three separate slots, so you don't have to choose between a second nano SIM or a micro SD card. Nothing special on the left of the F5, just a lonely volume rocker. Just like the rest of the body, it appears to be plastic as well. The top bezel of the Oppo F5 is completely empty, except for a tiny hole to house the noise-canceling microphone. The opposite side is quite a bit busier. The phone sole speaker is positioned here. So is the micro USB port, and the Oppo F5 still has a 3.5mm audio jack. We already praised the Oppo F5 for its slim front bezels. The company's choice of a full HD ultra wide panel over a cheaper 720p one is also appreciated. Granted, the F5 is far from the only option out there to ship with the trendy new aspect and 1080p resolution. So, there is no real exclusivity to Oppo 6-inch LTPS IPS LCD display. It is still a solid panel, though. With 402 ppi density, it looks perfectly sharp. On a pixel level, we find a standard RGB arrangement. In keeping with the trends, just like many other manufacturers, Oppo's lineup has been shifting towards dual camera setups at a steady pace. It is almost surprising to see a camera-centric, well, to be fair, selfie-centric offer, like the F5 ship with a sole 16 megapixel main camera. The rear camera is a 16 megapixel sensor, positioned behind a decently bright f1.8 lens. PDAF is also part of the mix. However, other than that, there is no OIS or EIS, for that matter. And just like the F3, the new Oppo F5 is only limited to 1080p video recording. The front camera for Oppo F5 is awesome. Oppo F5 has a 20 megapixel f2.0 aperture front camera. It has both face unlocking and AI beauty recognition tech. The reader for face unlocking is blazing fast and very accurate. It is a perfectly reliable backup option if the trendy face recognition should fail for some reason. The Oppo F5 is the first phone to come through the office, equipped with MediaTek's new MT6763T Helio P23 chipset. Back in the communications section of the review, we established the main goal with the P23 was to provide advanced network features for a mass market, rather than any meaningful performance bump over the older Helio P20. Since both chips are based on the same 16nm manufacturing process, and use a total of 8 Cortex-A53 cores, Four of those are 2.3 GHz and rest of four core are 1.6 GHz, this should definitely be true for CPU performance. The Helio P23 paired with 4 or 6 gigs of RAM, and 32 or 64 gigs of storage. You can expand storage up to 256 GB. The new MediaTek Helio P23 even has the ability to run both SIMs at 4G LTE speeds. The Oppo F5 runs Color OS 3.2, based on Android 7.1.1, Nougat. Oppo's own UI team has never really been subtle about its aspirations and creative inspiration in the face of Apple and iOS. A little while back Color OS 3.1 really took this to almost lawsuit-worthy levels and things are no different with the fresh new 3.2 release. The Oppo F5 packs a decently sized 3200 mAh battery, just like its F3 predecessor. It is not a battery beast, by any means, but to reiterate a previous point, the new plastic body has allowed Oppo to keep weight down at 152 grams, even with the same battery capacity and a larger display. With its bundled 5V 2-amp charger, the Oppo F5 goes from 0% to 49% in half an hour. The company is planning to sell the F5 for just 320 euros. The Oppo F5 is available at three color, black, red, and gold. So, what are you thinking about Oppo F5? Let us know in the comment below. If you enjoy this video, hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe this channel. 
and I'll catch you next one, bye.